Welcome to Kennington in South London, home of the Oval Cricket Ground and these, the stretcher railings. Humble in appearance, but with a remarkable story. To find out the truth, we must turn back the clock to 1940. The Blitz was a German bombing campaign against Britain in 1940 and 1941. London was a prime target and some 30,000 tons of bombs were dropped on the city. These weapons did not discriminate between civilian and military targets, and so ordinary people were thrust into the global combat. Many Londoners found refuge in underground stations and deep level shelters across the city. Those remaining above ground faced the onslaught of the German bombers. Signs of the Blitz remain all across London, such as this anti-aircraft gun emplacement remaining on the Isle of Dogs, one of four on this site alone. And at the same site, the location where a V-1 rocket fell on the 12th of July, 1944. Many buildings across the city bear their honourable scars. Like here at St. Clement Danes Church, the RAF Church in London. Other sites include Waterloo Place and the Victoria Albert Museum in Kensington. Blue plaques show the location of notable events, the first V-1 flying bomb attack, and in Southwark, where 70 people were killed when a bomb fell through the railway bridge onto those taking refuge below. Long forgotten signs across the city point to locations of shelters, and new buildings among the old paint a telling picture about where the bombs fell. With so many people being injured in the bomb attacks, the government of the time commissioned 600,000 of these stretches to be built and used by ARP wardens to rescue victims from the rubble. The stretches were constructed of steel, so they could be easily disinfected in the event of a gas attack. After the war, housing estates, particularly in South London, were in need of railings, their own having been requisitioned for the war effort. These railings were replaced by the stretches, and 70 years later they remain, overlooked by passers-by. Did you know that these railings are actually stretches from the war? No, I didn't. Yeah. Oh, that's amazing. I wasn't aware of it now, but that's quite interesting. Yeah. I like these little facts to be to find out about all already. Yeah. Today, these stretches are under threat. As they degrade, councils are removing them and in the process destroying their history. Luckily, new initiatives are working hard to preserve these stretches and tell their previously little known story. Around a dozen known sites exist in London where the railings can still be seen, mostly in the south of the city. Over 40,000 people died in the Blitz but it is safe to assume that many owe their survival to these humble railings. <laughs>